For many years, this humble bait right here, the curly tail grub, has been a staple in my tackle box, and for good reason. This bait catches a wide variety of fish in a number of scenarios. I have caught in walleye with this bait, smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, crappie, bluegill, perch, and the list goes on and on. This bait is one of the most versatile baits you can have on hand. So recently, I was out at a sporting goods store, and I walked into the fishing section, and I saw a wide variety of grubs ranging from a number of different price points and it got me thinking what's the difference between a five dollar curly tail grub and a dollar ninety nine curly tail grub so i picked up four different grubs at four different price points and we're going to pit them against each other and see if price actually makes a difference so the cheapest bait i picked up is this bait right here this is made by a company called hog eye and this is a really tiny little grub. I'm guessing that's why it was so cheap is because it takes less plastic to make. But here it is, just a tiny white little grub. Like I said, it costs $1.99. Upon first inspection, there's not a whole lot to say about this grub. It's just a tiny little grub um, with a little curly tail. I will say one thing, the plastic does feel a little bit stiff. I would like to see maybe some softer plastic, but the tail does move about and I have no doubt this bait will be able to catch fish. With that being said, let's put it in the water and see what the action looks like. Okay, so the action looks pretty decent. As you can see there, when you jig this bait, it's got a nice fluttering action. And I overall like a smaller profile bait for those times when the fish are very, very picky. The one complaint I have with this bait is the fact that the tail does not move when the bait falls. It only moves when you actively jig the bait. And this is kind of sad because a lot of times when a bait is just free falling through the water and that tail spinning, that's when you're going to get the bite. Now, I was fishing this bait on a rather light jig head, and I'm pretty sure if you put a really heavy jig head on it, you could get that tail to move if that bait was falling a lot faster. With the lighter jig head, the bait falls slower, and there's not as much water moving around the tail. That being said, I don't think you could really rig this thing on a large larger jig head. If you put a really big jig head in this thing, it will be all out of proportion. Um, this bait is really made to take smaller jig heads, and that's where the action suffers a little bit, is with those smaller jig heads. Like I said, the tail doesn't move a whole lot. But overall, I'd say this bait for $1.99 is definitely not a bad option. The second bait I picked up right here, the Mr. Twister, runs for $2.49, and this bait definitely has a bigger profile. Mr. Twister is a classic name when it comes to curly tail grubs. I remember years ago I used to crappie fish down at the lake and there would be this old guy that I'd see quite often and I remember him saying that Mr. Twisters can catch anything anywhere. He strongly recommended them. So this bait is a classic and it only costs $2.49. Now compared to the last bait we looked at, there are some key differences. The main key difference is the size. Obviously it's a bigger bait but also the size of the tail. The tail is a lot longer and the tail is a lot more thinner and a lot more limber. As you can see right here, the tail just flops around with hardly no effort. The plastic is also way softer than the last bait, not nearly as stiff, and I have a feeling this bait is going to perform fantastic once you get it in the water. And as you can see, guys, when we get this bait in the water, the action is fantastic. It's got a beautiful action in the water. Even on the fall, this bait puts off some action. Very, very cool. Oh, man, that smell. That brings back memories. That's got a classic uh, soft plastic bait smell. That takes me back. You get a 20 pack of these for $2.40 and it has a fantastic action in the water. Overall, I'd say this is a really decent buy. All right, guys, now we are moving up into the top tier of baits. This is the next bait that I picked up right here, the Rage Tail Crappie Grub. This is a 10 pack and these baits are a little bit bigger as well. They are two inches. These grubs have the signature Rage Tail and they supposedly put off a lot of action in the water. All right, guys, so here it is. This is the Rage Tail Crappie Grub. As you can see, it is a basic grub, but it does look significantly different than the last grub we looked at. The main difference, again, is the size. This bait is pushing upwards of two inches once you stretch it out, so it's not going to be a small bait. It's definitely on the bigger end when it comes to crappie baits. And the main key difference with this bait, of course, is that Rage Tail, the Rage patented signature tail. Um, these tails have been proven to put off a ton of vibration in the water. I love using using Rage products because, like I said, the baits are very well made and this Rage tail puts off a ton of vibration. So let's put this bait in the water and see what the action is like. I really, really love the action of this bait. It puts off a ton of vibration. That Rage tail really goes to work. It puts off a lot of vibration. There's a lot of movement. This bait is definitely going to get fish's attention. This bait costs $3.49 for a 10-pack of these baits. 
So it is definitely more expensive than the last bag we looked at. All right, guys, it is now time to look at the most expensive grub that I found at this store, and that is the Power Bait Grub right here in pearl white. You get a 20 pack of these for $5.99. Definitely the most expensive bait right here. Upon first inspection, guys, this bait doesn't look all that special. It's got the traditional body with the tail, although I will say the tail is a lot more wider than some of the other baits. A lot of them had thinner tails, but this bait is definitely wider. So that is an interesting design choice. The body is a little bit thicker as well, and it's a smaller profile in the water. So this it doesn't look that special upon first inspection, but give it a sniff and you'll see that it has the signature power bait scent baked right into it. The reason why power bait is so expensive is because it has this secret scent baked into it and they can charge more for it, obviously. Now, I, for one, am somewhat of a skeptic when it comes to fish attractants baked into baits. I made a whole video about it, and you can check it out right here. But I have to say, from using power bait in the past, it seems like uh, their scent definitely has some good things going for it, particularly with these grubs. I've used these in the past, and they work really, really well. It seems like the scent allows you to catch fish that usually wouldn't bite a grub. I, I was able to catch uh, a carp with one of these grubs, and I think it had a lot to do with the scent that is baked into it. So the scent definitely has some effect. Let's put this bait in the water and see what the action's like. So overall, the action, I'd say, is about average. Uh, the bait has a decent action in the water. So we have taken a look at all of these baits. Now it's time to take them out and see if they can catch fish. All right, guys, we're out here at the spillway. Gonna try and catch some crappie with these baits to see what happens. Got him. All right, guys, first crappie of the day on the the little cheap one, the $1.99 grub right there. Decent little crappie. Smoke the $1.99 grub. There you go right there, guys. This grub catches fish. Sweet. All right, so we know that $1.99 bait works. Let's try out the Mr. Twisters next and see if we can get a crappie to bite this. I have no doubt they'll bite this. I'm going to come down here and fish this spot from a little bit different angle. There we go. Right in front of me. Oh, he got away. What's he doing? <laughs> what is this crappie's problem? Wrong way, dude. Come on. Crappie's got issues. There we go. There's one. It's a better one right there, boys. Nice. All right, guys, there you go. That was on the Mr. Twister. We know for a fact that the Mr. Twister can catch fish. Let's let, release this little fish. See you, buddy. All right, let's try the Rage Tail Crappie Grub out next right here. It's got a nice long limber tail on it. Now, usually I would fish a bait this size on a bigger jig head, but I'm gonna stick with the small jig head because these fish are wanting a slower presentation today, and this small jig head allows this bait to sink slow and get those fish to bite. Let's see what happens. There we go, crappie. Right there. Boom. It's a better one, too. On the rage tail. Whack. Nice little crappie right there, guys. Smoke the rage tail, no problem. This bait definitely has fish catching potential. All right, last bait we're testing out right here. This is the power bait. This is the most expensive one of the bunch, I believe. If I can get this packaging open which I might be able to. All right, that packaging was a nightmare, but anyway, we got the uh, we got the grub right here. Sweet little grub, let's put it on the hook. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to catch something with this. Let's see what happens. There he is. No problem. No problem at all. A little baby crappie. So as you guys can see, all of these baits can catch fish. I think that was kind of a given. Uh, they're all curly tail grubs and curly tail grubs catch fish. But which one do I think 
is the best value for money. Well, I gotta say, if you're looking for a bait with some great scent baked into it to get those finicky fish to bite, I would definitely go with the Power Bait Grubs. They got a great color, the action's decent, and the scent that this has baked into it definitely aids itself useful when you're fishing in tough scenarios. If you're looking for pure action, I would say go with the Rage Tail. These baits have a fantastic action in the water. I use these baits a lot when the water is stained and I need something that has a little more oomph and puts off a little more action. I like rigging these on a big jig head and fishing them really, really fast. That Rage Tail really moves water and I found it to be very, very effective. But if you're on a budget and you don't want to spend a lot of money, you just want a grub that works really, really well, has a good action. I would highly recommend the Mr. Twister. These baits have a great action and they are a great price. Very inexpensive and you get a 20 pack of them. Now when it comes to the cheapest baits that we looked at today, the $1.99 grubs, I honestly wouldn't really bother with them uh, just due to the fact that you can spend another dollar, dollar forty, and you can get the Mr. Twisters which are in my opinion a way better bait. But if you're on an extreme budget, these baits are a decent little option. I love the small form factor that allows you to catch really, really finicky fish. Like I said, the action isn't the best in the world, but it is enough to get fish to bite. As you saw in that video, we were able to catch a crappie with it. So guys, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more videos like this where I keep comparing um, expensive baits to inexpensive baits. Be sure to subscribe to the channel to be notified when I upload future videos. And if you guys want to support the channel, you can check out my line of signature series swim baits down in the description. I get a little bit of kickback if you buy some. They're good swim baits. They catch fish. They work. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay hooked. I'll see you later.